Hey, Rick Angel here, your realtor at Angel Solutions at Keller Williams. Hey, today in today's market update, I wanted to talk to you about how uh, the Spartanburg market versus the Greenville market uh, fared in uh, 2020. Okay, so these numbers I have up here for you are the uh, the total units uh, sold in the Spartanburg area and the Greenville area. And as you can see, this number is quite different. So you can just see by that that uh, how much larger the greater Greenville uh, market is than the Spartanburg market. So if I, close to 6,000 homes sold in, in Spartanburg and about 16,000 homes or properties, total properties sold in the Greenville area. The, uh, the next number is the um, days on market. So there's a very close, so 57 versus 54 is basically almost the same. So the, uh, this is how long it's taken a home to, once it goes on the market, to go under contract. And again, Spartanburg versus Greenville is very similar. This next number is the median price. So the median price in Spartanburg is right at about 200,000, and the median price in the Greenville area is $235,000. So the price is a little bit higher in the Greenville area. The next number is the uh, month's supply of inventory, okay? so. What this means is in Spartanburg, there if not any one more home goes on the market starting today or tomorrow, um, it would take 2.9 months to exhaust all the inventory. Um, the number is very similar for the Greenville area; it would take about 2.4 months. What this number means is really uh, anything under six months supply of inventory is considered a seller's market. So we're very heavy in a seller's market still at this point, both based on the days on market, the long, how long it takes to sell a house, and, and the month supply of inventory. Okay, so thought you'd be interested in seeing uh, the difference between Greenville and Spartanburg. I work both their areas, actually a good chunk of the upstate. If I can help you or anyone you know in these areas, please give me a call.